Welcome, good afternoon. Thank you all for coming along to enjoy um, the fantastic food that's offer, on offer um, here at National School Meals Week. It's the 25th week, 25th year that we've run National School Meals Week. Um, I know I don't look old enough, I haven't been present at all of them, I don't know if you were. <laughs> <laughs> Michael was. Michael's the current chair of LESA, which is the lead association for catering in education. Um, they do fantastic work across the country, um, so I encourage you to engage with them locally if you haven't already. Um, right, I hope you've all had a chance to taste some of the fantastic food on offer. It's been around London through different various security channels. I swear, I swear Parliament, Parliament security were trying to keep it for themselves. They held on to it and sent it to all the wrong entrances and everything. So literally, it got here at the 11th hour. Um, so those that don't know me, um, if you're not uh, aware, I'm Sharon Hodgson, the Member of Parliament for Washington and Sunderland West, Shadow Public Health as you've heard, and also Chair of the All Party Group on School Food. And Roberta Blackman Woods um, is Vice Chair of the group and we've been passionate about campaigning for all things school food since, well, since not long after we elected. And we set up, yeah, and we set up the All Party Group in 2010. Um, to campaign when we went into opposition to ensure that um, school food would continue to be high on the agenda. Um, so, a Labour government um, will introduce free school meals for all primary school children. It's in our manifesto. Um, and we will also ensure that all children in households on universal credit will receive a free school meal. We're campaigning for this um, with the current government. We've got universal infant free school meals, as you know, which we've all campaigned tirelessly to protect, and it's so important. And for those in this room who work in schools, the catering staff and all the campaigners, you know how important universal infant free school meals are. It's literally the bedrock of getting those children to understand you know, the different tastes and the different types of food and to get some good food into them. And for those that we know, though a lot of those children, that meal that they get at school is the only meal they get that day. They might go home to snacks, they might go home, um, you know, to a little bit of toast or something, but some don't. They don't go home to anything. They don't go home to tea, there's no snacks, there's no supper. And when they get up the next morning, there's no toast and there's no cornflakes and there's no breakfast. They get to school, if the school hasn't got a breakfast club, they are literally starving by the time it gets to lunchtime. And the school staff will attest, they will know the children who literally are surviving for the majority um, of their time on just that school meal. And that is why this meal is so important. Um, if children haven't got the energy to learn, then everything else to do in school is just a waste of time. And we talk about closing the gap and all the investment in you know, things like pupil premium and everything. The best thing we can do to clo close the gap is make sure our kids are fed properly in school. Um, we, sh the, we should have breakfast and free school meals. It should be there. And this is the quality. The quality we've seen today, this is within the guidelines and it's within the budget that all <coughs> schools get to spend on their school meals so all the MPs in the room go back to your schools and if your food isn't like this then say something get in touch with Michael get in yeah. touch he will put you in touch with your laser representatives locally and then you can go armed into the school take the school food plan in with you and say look this is the sort of food that we should be getting why is the food in this school not like this because what we find and I've already had this on um, uh, WhatsApp groups today with various MPs when I sent the menu out them saying oh but Sharon this isn't the food that my kids are getting they're talking about their own kids not even just constituency kids this isn't the food my kids are getting at their local school because they're going to sort of you know the, the, the local school wherever um, they are in the constituency whereas in the posher schools in the posher parts of the constituency they know that they're getting fed different food so this should be the food that's in every school. Why are we why are we accepting that in some of the schools in the poorer communities, you know, that it's just about getting the kids fed. This is what the kids should be eating, no matter what sort of background or what school it is. And there's no excuse for shortchanging any of these children. So I'm proud to be here as a champion for National School Meals Week and now in its twenty-fifth year to the chefs 
to the school staff, the producers, the companies and the campaigners. I thank you all for everything that you do day in, day out to ensure that our school children have a nutritious, a hot and a healthy meal in front of them every day. I encourage my colleagues to visit a school in your constituency and stay. I, I always go before lunch or after lunch. I think people think it's because that's how I've got such a fine figure. But honestly, <laughs> it's because it's important to try that food for yourself. And if the head knows you're staying, you know, at least that might be one day the food will. Um, and just the very fact that you've asked to stay will make the head think why this is so important. Um, and also, lots of the schools will be serving up this fantastic food. You know, if, whether they're in-house in Durham or they're using um, Laser or uh, one of the, the, the excellent catering um, companies out there, um, there is a lot more and more and more this, the food is good. That's why I'm so anxious that a number of MPs have got in touch about um, their particular schools that aren't. So we know we're not perfect, there's still a way to go. Um, I know the Minister was here, um, I missed him. If he had been here, I'd be urging him um, that he should also be going into to schools across the country. I'm very sad he wasn't able to stay and try the fantastic food on offer, but um, I will make sure I tell him day in, day out how crucial school food is to um, the children's um, education. It's um, important, and I honestly believe um, that there's no better thing we should be spending our money on in this country than making sure our children are fed in school every day. It shouldn't be means tested. It shouldn't be, you know, you don't means test the teacher, you don't means test the desk or the books. Why do we means test the food that sustains the children in order to have their education? Um, it definitely is something that I think we all should pick up and we should make sure that at the very least the poorest children are getting this food every day and I for one that will be my ambition to my dying day or well until I leave this place anyway. Thank you. Mm -hmm.